Right, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips. And in today's video, we're gonna look at, uh, well, basically fairway woods and hybrids. And there's a tip in amongst all this about your fundamentals that will ensure that you hit both a lot better after watching this video. And today's video comes from the main man himself in terms of golf YouTube tips. And that is, of course, Danny Maud. And if I get any of this description wrong in this next few minutes, then you can see his full video by clicking the link in the description below on this one. Right, once again, this is all about the basic fundamentals. And I'm quickly learning a lot of the tips that I'm looking at from our favorite YouTube coaches. They focus on very much similar things, but it's finding that little nugget that sticks in your brain and works for you. Now you're gonna need an alignment stick, or if you haven't got an alignment stick, you're gonna need a golf club as I am using. And we've got a ball teed up in, uh, in on a driver position, and then we've got a ball off the deck. And what we're looking to do in this, is nothing to do with the driver, it's about ball position, but I'm gonna be playing this from the deck i'm not going to be playing it from a tee because we're going to hit hybrid and we're going to be hitting fairway wood and it can be fairway wood in particular a real difficult shot to execute for average golfers that tight lie and how do we do it well first of all i'm going to concentrate on the position of the ball for driver and how it significantly changes for fairway wood and then hybrid and then we've got a bit of a drill to make sure you're striking the ball in a correct location. Right, let's put the fairway wood to one side for a second or two and I'm gonna get out the driver just first of all to demonstrate the difference in the position of where this ball would be. Many of you will know this, if we're teeing up for driver, it's very much off the front foot. So for me, just inside my left lead foot. And the reason we do that is because of the arc that we create and where we hit the ball in terms of within that arc. So basically, if we were to swing the club back this way, we're starting to hit the ball, we're bottoming out. The low point of the swing is generally a few inches behind the ball, which means we're starting to hit the ball on the upswing. That's fantastic with driver, and it's gonna generate the best possible results. I think we all know that. If you don't, then watch some other videos that we've put together, which will highlight that and uh, give you maybe a little bit more reason and understanding of why that happens. The problem is, if we did that exact same thing, now I've got fairway wood in hand, if I make that same thing where the ball is very much inside my lead foot, if I start to create the low point as being around here, the low point of the arc, so the swing comes all the way around, and at some point there is the lowest part of the swing that is known as the low point, and then obviously the club starts to then rise again. Now if that low point was in the same position as what we've created with the driver, then effectively what we're gonna do we're going to top the ball. It's what so many golfers do in terms of with fairway wood and perhaps with hybrid. And it's largely due to ball position. So just to understand that again, ball would be in the same position as driver. The low point would still be behind the ball in that arc. That means we're starting to come up and we're starting to hit the ball on the upswing. And that's where we start to top the ball. So for fairway wood, what do we need to do? We need to change that ball position quite significantly. And for me, you're looking at moving it probably, I've got two club heads back, my two clubs being my five wood I've got in hand, and I'd be looking to move it at least two clubs back. And what does that change? Well, first of all, it changes the position of your body central to the ball, the sternum. And again, it becomes, if anything, sort of slightly leaning forward of the ball, certainly on top of the ball. Whereas with the driver, we're always leaning that little bit of a, a backward um, setup and stance. So first of all, we're on top of the ball. But the main thing that then does is that in the swing arc, the low point becomes where we want to actually strike the ball, so the ball's location. And that changes things significantly simply because of the way in which we've positioned the ball. Now, I know that sounds really simple, but it makes a huge difference between whether or not you're topping the ball or whether you're starting to strike the golf ball in the right direction. Now, what you need to do is you need a little bit of a drill because the next thing you need to do is be able to control what Danny calls the radius of the arc. So it's keeping that radius consistent because what a lot of people will do is if you start to raise up during your golf swing or if you start to crouch down so if you start to collapse a little bit or again if you start to rise up the radius of the arc changes so when you started here 
if you rise up through the swing the radius of the arc starts to become higher you start to top the ball and if you start to then dip into your swing the radius of the arc becomes lower and you know you're going to start chunking the ball so you need a little bit of a drill to control what he calls the radius of the arc and it goes something like this Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Right, so the drill goes basically like this. Let's just get my ball position right. So that's where I am in terms of my fairway wood, fairly comfortable with that. Then like I said, what, you, what Danny's asking you to do is first of all most create like a half swing and i talk about it a lot when i'm sort of practicing which is keeping this v the two forearms relatively straight and extending your right arm and your right hand sort of as far through as you can get it so it's just a quarter a half swing and really try and extend down the line so pushing the club head and your forearm to extend it as far as you physically can so all you're literally looking to do is keep the radius of the arc in the same position as when we start the swing as when we go through impact so again none of that collapsing none of that standing tall it's simply about keep the arms straight keep them kind of that v in the arms take them back and then look to extend through and that's all you're looking to do and it's a few practice swings and maybe that's a better one where you just see that little scuff of the grass and you know that you're just going to meet that ball that's better feels a lot better for me that now what it's also encouraging me to do is my weight is also starting to move a little bit onto my left hand side and it's also getting my hip to start to turn because physically again once i start to extend that as far as i physically can my hip has got to start to move otherwise i'm in some weird awkward position that would be pretty painful so keeping the v extend through and as you can see my hips are turning i'm getting through the ball i'm a little bit over the ball as well which is key to making sure that we get good contact on the ball with fairway wood i have to turn this thing around because we're facing the wrong way to hit the ball down the tee here on 14 and i'm going to see if i can execute a shot with those principles with the fairway wood in hand right I'm going to try and aim slightly just inside the uh, right of these trees that are on my left. That was confusing. First of all, ball position. Kind of happy with that in terms of our alignment, what we had. Like I said, aiming down this left-hand side. Ball position is good. I'm just going to lean my weight slightly over to the left-hand side and I'm going to have a couple of practice swings in terms of extending, controlling the radius of the arc. And let's see if we can now hit a shot with those same principles. Right, so that's five wood. I wouldn't say it was solid. I would say that I would still got it a little bit on the thin side. So for me personally, my feedback from that would be that I didn't transfer my weight. I didn't get into the ball and maybe I didn't control the radius quite like I would have liked to. And it's something that I do quite often and that's hit my fairway woods on those bottom grooves so my understanding of that based on what Danny is telling me in the tip is that I'm still maybe hitting that low point is just slightly behind the ball and I'm hitting it on the upswing so I'm going to load another ball and I'm going to see if I can make that change understanding where my low point should be with fairway wood in hand and just see if I can change it to more of a downward blow getting that low point pushed a little bit further forward but once you start to understand what you should be doing i think it's easier then to understand about what went wrong that's the way i'm looking at that one anyway let's see if we can make a bit of an adjustment so it's very much a case of i am learning as you are and the idea of testing the tip is exactly this i'm going to give you my my feedback if i don't feel like it's worked for me then obviously i would let you know i'm pretty much in the settled position that i'd like to be I just feel like I've got to hit more of a downward blow and move my, uh, move my weight a little bit more forward through the ball, which I perhaps didn't do last time round. Right, here we go. Right, that's a much more, that's, that's basically stayed on my line exactly where I was aiming. A much more solid, more penetrating ball flight. And I could tell quite differently 
Unfortunately, my club face is a little bit dirty and there's no uh, moisture there to see exactly where I've struck that. So that's key to a little tip that is coming a bit later on in this video from Danny, because it's really key to understand exactly where we struck it. But from my understanding, first one a little bit thin, second one much more out the center of the club face by making that adjustment in my low point and shifting my weight a little bit for, further forward through the ball, controlling that radius of the arc. Right, we're gonna just move on one step further. So I'm going to bring the alignment stick back in. I should have left it in really on that previous shot and um, <clears throat> hybrid in hand. And essentially there's no difference uh, in terms of the principles, controlling the radius, understanding where that low point is. Probably for me, and again, it's where you're comfortable. It's getting that sort of ball, maybe just push back a little bit further. Danny talks a lot through the video about the position of the sternum. And again, this may be slightly almost a little bit forward hybrid being struck in exactly the way you would strike your irons so don't confuse this with any sort of different club it's not a fairway wood this is very much how you would strike your irons and all we're going to look to do let me just get a little bit close to the ball and make sure that i'm not too far away from that so just a little bit of a practice swing extending through making sure that i get to shift my weight which seems to be an issue for me and let's see if we can control that low point and move through the ball through impact oh that's solid solid it's got i mean it's got a little bit of cut on it you can see which is always going to be my shot the ball has popped up really good solid strike this time i have got a little pattern there i don't know whether hand you can pick that up is it too dark i'll maybe take a photo of that and put it on screen now but that came really out the middle of the club face and something that i could certainly feel and the final tip that danny gives is if you're not going to see that imprint then the perfect scenario is to go and get some foot spray put some foot spray on your club face and you've probably seen this trick before but you can very much see a mark that is left behind on your club face and where you have struck the ball so understanding that strike location and what I talked about earlier when I sort of got a little bit off the bottom grooves to start with I was able to make an adjustment I would have seen that that was the case and then make an adjustment and as you've seen with the hybrid certainly got through the ball a lot better than I had done and uh, got the middle of the club face I'm going to say this is a complicated one, but Danny goes into some detail in that radius of the arc. I hope I was able to explain it well enough, but don't forget, there's a full link in the description below taking you to Danny's video, who will no doubt give you a better explanation than one I have just attempted to do. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Give me your feedback. Let me know if you've tried this one. If you're struggling with your fairway or your hybrids, go on the fairway, try it, come back and let me know what you thought. My overall opinion, good but needs a certain basic understanding of that controlling of the low point and that's going to take a little bit of practice right thanks for watching i'll see you all soon